cool before serving, unraveling kitchen jargon. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a common phrase you might encounter in recipes or cooking shows, cool before serving. This phrase is a perfect example of how language can be tailored to specific contexts. In this case, the culinary world. So, let's break it down together and make it as easy as pie. The phrase, cool before serving, is often found at the end of recipes, particularly those involving baked goods or dishes that are heated as part of their preparation. At first glance, it seems straightforward, but let's dissect it to fully grasp its meaning. Cool. In this context, cool is a verb that means to allow something to lower its temperature. It's not about becoming cold, but rather bringing the temperature down from hot to warm or room temperature. Before, this is a preposition that indicates something must happen prior to something else. It's about sequence, serving. Here, serving refers to the act of presenting food to be eaten, whether to oneself, family, or guests. Putting it all together, cool before serving, instructs that the food should be allowed to reduce in temperature before it is presented for eating. You might wonder why many recipes specify to cool something before serving. There are a few good reasons. 1. Flavor development. Some dishes, especially baked goods like cakes and cookies, develop better flavor and texture as they cool. Heat can mask certain flavors, which become more pronounced when the food is at a more moderate temperature. 2. Safety. Eating overly hot food can cause discomfort or even burns. Cooling helps reduce this risk. 3. Structural integrity. Foods, particularly those that set or solidify, need time to reach a state where they can be cut or served without falling apart. For example, lasagnas, cheesecakes, and jelly need to cool to set properly. Now that we know why cooling is essential, here are some practical tips to cool food effectively. Use a cooling rack. This allows air to circulate around baked goods, cooling them more evenly and quickly. Room temperature. Foods should generally be cooled to room temperature unless the recipe specifies otherwise. Refrigeration. Some foods require cooling in the fridge to set properly. Make sure to follow the recipe's instructions closely. Understanding the phrase, cool before serving, enriches your cooking vocabulary and helps you follow recipes more accurately, ensuring the best possible outcomes for your dishes. We hope this explanation clarifies the importance of cooling in cooking and baking. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Happy cooking, and see you in the next video.